Hey guys, we are gonna go look for things in my house that have the CK, the K sound, that digraph. Now remember, the C goes K, the K goes K, and when you put them together, they go K. So CK goes K. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try to, try to find something that has the CK. So I'm gonna flip my camera, and we're gonna search my favorite room in the house, my stitch room, and say hello to Miss Oreo. So Oreo's gonna help me out. Oreo, did you help mommy find something that has a k sound? Miss Keegan found her backpack. And inside my backpack is Tacky's Christmas book. So I was able to find back, pack, and tacky. So what I'm gonna do on my board today, guys, is instead of writing out the words with the sounds and the letters and doing the digraph, you know, doing all that, we're actually gonna write the words and then we're gonna write a sentence about it, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put a CK so that way I can remember that I'm working with C and K. And remember, digraphs, we underline. So our first one is back, Pack. So I'm gonna put the word back. B -b -b -b. There's a B. Ah, ah, ah. I'm gonna put an A, and there's my breathe. And remember, CK comes with short vowels. So I'm gonna put a C and my K. So here's the word back, and I have to underline that CK. So back. Now I'm gonna do pack. P P P P P. Ah, 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 ah. Do an A. K K K and do my C and my K. Now remember, underline the digraph, and we have to put that breathe on top of our A. So we have back, pack, and then we also have tacky. So I don't have to actually sp try to do my sounds because it already says tacky, and there's that short sound. So I'm gonna do a T, an uppercase T, because it's a name, and names are important. So t, ah, 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 k, k, k. And there's the CK, and then E, tack E. So I'm gonna go ahead and give my A, A, breathe, and underline my digraph. So I have back, pack, and tacky. So now I'm gonna try to write a sentence with back, pack, and tacky. So I think my sentence is going to be tacky. So I'm gonna do T, A, don't forget your breathe, and my C, K, tacky and underline it. So tacky, finger space. And since I can't use my fingers, I'm gonna go ahead and put a marker right there so I can kind of see that there's a, a space there. So tacky has, so H, ha, 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 has, tacky has a, and I'm gonna put back, pack. And so I have back and pack right here. So I'm gonna write it down here. And I ran out of room, so I have to swoop down here. And I'm gonna write back. So B, A, don't forget your breathe, and C, K, and we're going to underline that. So tacky has A, back, and then I'm gonna put pack. P, A, put that breathe and your C and your K, and we're gonna underline it. Tacky has a backpack. Now I have to put a period at the end because I'm done talking. All right, now Tacky the penguin has a backpack. So guess what I have to draw? I need to draw a penguin. So here's my penguin here. Here's his head. Give him a beak, his eyes, and his little flippers. All right, so now I have my penguin, and he has a backpack on. And since it's hard to, he has a backpack, and it's gonna be hard to do that. So I think I'm just gonna draw the backpack on the side. So here's a bag, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a little hook on top so that way he can hold it, and then two lines. And so Tacky has a backpack. So what I want you guys to do is you are gonna go find something with CK. It doesn't matter what you find or any word with CK. It doesn't matter, it could be duck, quack, the duck can quack. 
Okay, so I want you to go ahead and underline all the CK words that you have in your sentence. So you have to come up with a CK sentence now. Make sure you draw your picture and you guys can come up with whatever it is you want, but make sure that you have a C and a K and when you put them together, they go K and you underline them, okay? So I cannot wait to see what CK sentence you can write for me.